Nissan's PIV-03 concept follows PIV-01 and 2. But unlike its forebears, the automaker would like to produce this pint-size urban electric vehicle that seats 3. The PIV-03 may not be able to crab walk like its immediate predecessor, but it has some slick tricks of its own. Power is provided by individual in-wheel electric motors, with energy provided by a Nissan Leaf and Start with the ion battery pack. Rear-wheel steering allows the PIVO to practically spin on its axis, and Nissan says the roughly 10-foot-long EV can make a U-turn on a road only 13 feet wide. But the PIVO 3's biggest trick comes from its electronic gizmos. First, its two doors slide open like a minivans to allow ingress and egress in tight parking spaces. The futuristic cabin places the driver's seat forward and to the center, flanked by two passenger seats. Drivers can call in to play what Nissan calls an automatic valet parking AVP, system. The system not only finds a parking space, but the car drives off on its own to park and charges itself, and then returns when called by a smartphone. The downside is this only happens in AVP parking lots of the future, say 2025. Toyota's Fun Vi is unlike any futuristic concept car we've ever seen. The exterior is made of touchscreen panels that can be changed, based on the owner's preferences, with a simple download of a smartphone app or by uploading an image to Facebook. Like the exterior, whatever visuals you would like to see on the inside can be wirelessly painted in real time. Then there's the holographic navigation concierge lady with a cute little hat that pops out of the dashboard. She can guide you around the vehicle's features or help find your way from one place to another. Since the car is networked with all the other cars on the road and drives itself, driving is effortless. And if all that is not enough fun, the fun vi can instantly convert into a video game.
the owner's preferences with a simple download of a smartphone app or by uploading an image to Facebook. When introduced to the media, Toyota President Okio Toyota said, a car must appeal to our emotions. If it's not fun, it's not a car. The fun continues inside the 13-foot-long, three-passenger fun vi, which stands for Vehicle Interactive Internet. Toyota has no intention of building a production version just yet, but says the fun vi is an example of technologies that it could incorporate into vehicles in the future. The Volkswagen NILS an electric commuter car for the urban world of the future, was designed and engineered to offer a dynamic driving experience, while generating neither emissions nor noise. The blueprint followed a Formula One car, the drivers in the middle, a lightweight 25 kWh electric motor is slung out back driving the rear wheels and four freestanding 17-inch tires and wheels. That blueprint may not qualify the NILS as a performance machine, but it is lightweight. Assembled from aluminum, polycarbonate and other lightweight materials, the car weighs just 1,015 pounds. A minimalist cabin features a 7-inch GFT display that indicates speed, range, and energy flow. A second display, which is snapped into the A-pillar, is a portable navigation and entertainment unit. Thanks to a 40-mile range and a top speed of 80 mph, the NILS would be the ideal vehicle for most commuters, and a reflection of a new era. Hover Volkswagen which translates to People's Car in English, launched the People's Car product in China, which invited Chinese consumers to submit ideas for cars of the future. Automobile companies aren't the only folks that can design concept cars to work out ideas for the future. One of the three design winners was Wang Jia, a student and resident of Chengdu in the country's Sichuan province. She envisioned a tall, Jia's inspiration for a propulsion system came from the Shanghai Maglev train, which can hover along special rails using electromagnetic suspension. Volkswagen brought the idea to life in a short video. In the video, Jia's parents take the tire-shaped hover car out for a spin through Chengdu. The narrator points out a number of the imaginary car's features, including a joystick controller, autopilot, and a collision avoidance sensor. Simon Mosby, head of design at Volkswagen Group China commented, it was the ultimate in dreaming because a full-scale version of the car doesn't exist. Technology to produce the car and road infrastructure is available today. Chevrolet's second-generation ENV 2.0 electric networked vehicle may look like designers crossed a ladybug with a transformer robot, but the two-seat electric vehicle can scoot around cities at up to 25 mph for around 25 miles with energy from a lithium-ion battery. The prototype car was developed to show the possibilities for alleviating concerns surrounding traffic congestion, parking availability, air quality and affordability for tomorrow's cities. While the Diminutive ENV 2.0 has a standard steering wheel, accelerator and brake pedal. It also contains a full complement of cameras, LiDAR sensors and vehicle-to-vehicle, -vehicle, V2X.
technology to make many or all of the driving decisions while the driver rides hands-free, and Shanghai GIA Tong University. The EMV 2.0 opens up an exciting future edition of multimodal transport. Inspired by the world portrayed in post-apocalyptic movies, the Immortus is a solar electric concept car from Australia's EVX Ventures, a collaboration between the Electric Vehicle Research Group at Swinburne University of Technology in Melbourne, Australia, and a group of Australian engineers who have designed and produced award-winning solar racing cars. No word as to why the car is named after a Marvel Comics villain. Electricity to power the cars generated from 75 square feet of silicon photovoltaic cells on the roof. On a sunny day traveling at about 50 mph, the Immortus can be driven more than 340 miles. Drop the speed to a constant 37 mph. Stella Lux is the world's first energy positive family car. Take a look under the hood to understand how Stella Lux produces more energy than she consumes all the year round. On average, Dutch citizens drive 37 kilometers a day. Even in the Netherlands, not known for its sunny weather, solar cells on Stella Lux produce more than enough energy. In midwinter, the car still has a range of 40 kilometers a day, rising to 310 kilometers a day in the summer. And if you leave Stella Lux stationary for a few days, you can charge the battery to its maximum capacity. That's a thousand kilometers of safe, totally emission-free driving. Being energy positive means solar team Eindhoven can introduce new concepts like wireless discharging. Use Stella's surplus energy to lower your total energy consumption at home. Stella Lux in the driveway can cut the costs of running lights, TVs and tablets, in fact, anything that's switched in. Unlike most cars, Stella Lux offers identical seating comfort for all passengers. Apart from spacious legroom, there are unusual features like integrated beverage holders. And while you drive, smartphones can be recharged on the wireless charging pad. It's the attention to detail which makes the Stella Lux driving experience very special. By combining energy production, storage and use into one single product, we're creating the most efficient cars in the world. Stella Lux has been designed to make a significant contribution to a sustainable, prosperous and connected future. We hope you will join us on the journey.